this regular meeting of the Lennox Township Board of Trustees, Tuesday, January 2nd, 2024, at 6.30 p.m. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Purple meeting agenda.
um, court, court enforcement, historic preservation, planning, and administration. Citizens residing in blighted areas or persons of low and moderate income are encouraged to participate. If unable to present at this meeting and want your own opinion now, known, please contact the Lenox Township Clerk. The Lenox Township Meeting Room is handicapped accessible. Persons needing special assistance or aid should contact the Lenox, Town Lenox Township Clerk 24 hours prior to the meeting. Now, there's no one that comes tonight. Okay. Yeah, usually someone comes. I did get an email from Interfaith uh, Volunteers, I believe it is. Yeah, Interfaith Volunteer Caregivers. They did send an email, but they weren't going to be able to make it today. But those that's the only organization that I heard from. So, if there's nothing more I can add to the summary, any public comment?
much for the wedlock. Uh, I believe it's your KCI okay. community yeah. communications. KCI. Okay, I'm sorry. That's what I meant to say. KCI. Yeah. If there is no more discussion, I'll make a motion. I make a motion to approve KCI to print and mail the 2024 assessing change notices. Mr. Clifford, what they do is they utilize that 
So this building and the new community center, this building will have two precincts, that building will have two precincts, was the design that they had laid out for the clerk's department. Your heaviest section will have six laptops here and two laptops at the other building. These are for QVF files. They're able to verify. That should be enough, though. As your question came up, it should be plenty based upon the clerk's input. With that, I'll bring it back to the board, entertain a motion. Or any other questions? Office is bringing forth this resolution to voice the township's opposition to the proposed water affordability legislation currently proposed in the Michigan State Legislature. Legislative. Lennox Township has already pays into the Great Lakes Water Authority Water Residential Assistance Program known as RAP. <coughs> With Macomb County administrating its portion of RAP through Macomb County Community Action. RAP allows the money spent by the residents and the businesses in Macomb County to stay and be spent in Macomb County. However, these new pieces of legislation introduced into the Michigan House and Senate present a brand new money grab by the state of Michigan charging every water meter in the state an additional $24 per meter, which can be increased up to $36 per meter. Under these pieces of legislation, the money collected through this program will be spread out statewide and not kept local. Lennox Township would never be a donor community, should, excuse me, should never be a donor community, which these new pieces of legislation will in fact make us the donor communities. The supervisor's office requests that the board adopt resolution 2024-1 and call for our state elected officials to act against this particular money grab by the state of Michigan. Respectfully submitted, Anthony Reader. Okay, the resolution will please be read. If you're ready, I'll go ahead with the resolution itself. Resolution 2024-1. Resolution to oppose the proposed water affordability legislation. Whereas, the Township of Lennox is responsible for the distribution of water to many of its residents and businesses as received from the Great Lakes Water Authority known as the GLWA. And whereas the GLWA currently provides a water residential assistance program, RAP, that offers low-income customers an income-based assistance plan with up to $100 a month in bill credits, $2,400 in bill rearrangement assistance, or rearage, and 2,200 in plumbing repairs. And whereas the Township of Lennox funds the RAP within the current charges it receives from GLWA, and must pass along those charges to its residential and commercial customers through the current water rates, which are calculated each year and approved by the Township Board of Trustees. And whereas RAP is administered within Macomb County by Macomb Community Action, which provides a central intake to assist all low-income Macomb residents with county, state, and federal assistance programs, the Macomb County customers pay into RAP is committed to be spent within Macomb County. And whereas several water affordability bills have been introduced into the state legislature, Legislative SB 0549-0554 and House Bill 5088-5093, which appropriates to create the statewide fund 
and would duplicate the benefits of the RAT by charging every customer within the township of Lennox an extra $24 for each meter annually, regardless of usage or current income level, and may go up to $36 per customer. And whereas this legislation would create another state entity to perform the same function as RAT, program with no requirement that the funds generated from the new fees be committed to the locality and provides no local control. GLWA has representation on its board for Macomb County and the RAT program is administered locally by Macomb County Agency, enabling local control and attentiveness to local needs. And also whereas the RAT program covers 40% of the state customers through GLWA and another 30% of the state residents use wells and septic systems, which would not be affected. This legislation would create a new benefit for 30% of the state residents, which further questions the need to create a new state entity rather than those areas outside of the GLWA, establishing their own RAP within their own water distribution systems. Therefore, and whereas the legislation is also opposed by Macomb County Public Works Commissioner Candace Miller, as noted in attached exhibits A through C. And now, therefore, be it resolved that the Township of Lennox strongly oppose the proposed water affordability legislation and urge our state elected officials, representatives, and representatives from Macomb County to oppose this legislation. section of that chart had uh, 
Matt, when the election happened, we had Cam Conley reporting to Luann Candell at the time because of the supervisor situation. And in the meantime, while it's tabled, uh, who are we going to have him? Uh, he still goes to the clerk's office in the meantime. The clerk's office? Because at that time, I mean, I'm not, I'll always volunteer, but there's, uh, if Luann wasn't going to do it, Kathy, remember, Michelle, I think that it was possibility of me. Now, I don't care who does it, I just don't, right now, until this gets settled, um, I just, you know, I want to know who he's got to report to as a go-to on the board, that's all. In the meantime, pending the legal review and the vote of the board, the organizational chairman will stay the same. Okay. Call for the board.